simplify 25a to the third, and that a to the third is being raised to the third power times b squared, all of that over 5a squared b times b squared. So we can do this in multiple ways, simplify different parts. What I want to do is simplify this part right over here. a to the third power, and we're raising that to the third power. So this is going to be from the power property of exponents, or the power rule. This is going to be the same thing as a to the 3 times 3 power. So this over here, let me scroll up a little bit, is going to be equal to a to the 3 times 3 power, or a to the ninth power. We could also simplify this b times b squared over here. This b times b squared, that is the same thing as b to the first power. Remember, b is just b to the first power. So it's b to the first power times b to the second power. So b to the first times b to the second power is just equal to b to the 1 plus 2 power, which is equal to b to the third power. And then the last thing that we could simplify, just right off the bat, just looking at, at this, we have a 25 divided by a 5. Well, that's just going to give us 5. Or we could say it's going to give us 5 over 1, if you view it as dividing the numerator and the denominator both by 5. So what has our expression simplified to? We have 5, a to the ninth, a to the ninth, and then we still have this b squared here, b squared, all of that over a squared, a squared times b to the third power, times b to the third power. Now, we can use the quotient property of exponents. You have an a to the ninth, which is in a slightly different color. We have an a to the ninth over a squared. What's that going to simplify to? Well, that's going to be the same thing. Let me write this. a to the ninth over a squared is the same thing as a to the 9 minus 2, which is equal to a to the seventh power. Now we also have, and this will get a little bit interesting here, we have a b squared over b to the third power. So that simplifies to, so b squared over b to the third is equal to b to the 2 minus 3 power, which is equal to b to the negative 1 power. And we'll leave it like that right now. So this whole expression simplifies to, it simplifies to 5 times a to the seventh power, because this simplifies to a to the seventh a to the seventh times, and all the, these b's right here simplified to b to the negative 1. b to the negative 1. We could leave it like that, and you know that's pretty simple. But we might not want a negative exponent there. And there we just have to remember that b to the negative 1 power is the same thing as 1 over b. And if we remember that, then we can rewrite this entire expression as, in the numerator, we'll have a 5, and we'll have a to the seventh. 5a to the seventh, and then in the denominator we'll have the b. So we're multiplying this times 1 over b. So that's the same thing as b to the negative 1. And we are done.